Hello children. Today we will be learning prepositions of place. And just like before, we are going to concentrate on the three prepositions at, in, on. Generally, we use at, in, and on when we talk about the location of things where they are. First up, we have at. At tells us that the noun is located at a particular place. When do we use at? Places with address. Places with address. At home, at school, at the restaurant, at the doctor's, at C54 Maple Street, at 12 by 1 OVM Road. Places with an address, that is, places that has an address, all right? Next, specific positions, that is, where a person or an object is exactly the exact location, all right? At the door, at the corner, at the reception, at the front desk, at the crossroad, at the top, at the bottom, at the front, at the back, at the end, at the entrance, at the exit. We also use it for an event, at a concert, at a party, at a conference, at the wedding. Next we have in. In tells us that the person or the object is inside something, that is, it is surrounded or closed off from all sides. When do we use in? First, we use in for cities. When we talk about cities, we say in the city, in ISO, in Delhi, in New York, in Bangkok, in London. For countries, we say in the country, in India, in Italy, in Japan, in Australia, in Spain. For an enclosed space, that is, places that are surrounded or closed off on all sides. In the living room, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in a building, in a box, in a bottle, in a bag, in my pocket, in my purse, in my wallet, in a car, in a helicopter. We also use it for areas or spaces like in the north, in the forest, in the sky. You have to remember that in is used when they are inside something. All right? Next we have on. On tells us that the person or the object is located on a surface. That is, when one thing is attached to or touching something. Like I said before, on is used when something is on a surface. On the roof, on the floor, on the wall, on the table, on her face on her hat. I'm just giving you only a few examples here so that you'll have the general idea. All right. We also use on for public transport, on a bus, on a train, on a plane and also when we talk about islands. I'm on an island, on a Greek island, on a Hawaiian island. For open transport, I'm on a bicycle, on a horse, on a bike. We also use it for names of streets or roads. On Peter Street, on Oxford Street, on S. R. Wallace Road. Remember, do not mix this up with an address, okay? Here they are just the names of the streets or roads. Also for digitals like 
on the internet, on the phone, on the TV, on the computer and also for pages like on the fourth page, on page 26, on the menu. Like I've said before, I'm giving you only a few examples here so that you'll have the general idea, alright? Let's look at some more example sentences here. When I'm at home, I like to sit on the sofa and read a book. At home, on the sofa. John and Jenny are in Paris right now, having the time of their life in Paris. I live on the second floor at 25 Cambridge Road in London. On the second floor at 25 Cambridge Road in London. Ben had so much fun at the beach. At the beach. We want to put some shelves on the wall in the living room. On the wall in the living room. All right. Another important point is that in certain cases, the uses of at, on, or in may change depending on the location or position. Here, let's see. There are no water left in the bottle. The label on the bottle was scratched. The first one shows that it is inside. The second one shows that it is on the surface. There's a delivery boy at the door. There's a poster on the wall. I hope it's clear. Until then, take care and stay safe.